Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about programming and why it's complicated. So let's get into it. So the question in question today was, if programming is made by humans, why don't, it, why don't we make it easier to do it? Well, I'm, I'm going to be blunt about this and I'm going to try my best to not sound too condescending because this is as simple as we have been able to make it. Because the same argument could be said, I mean, we make laws, right? Why don't we make that simple? All kinds of stuff are made by humans. Why don't we make that simple? So making something simple is extraordinarily hard when the problem that you are solving is complicated. So something that I have long argued is, uh, I actually have an old video about this, where I try to explain the, the issue with the human mind when it comes to complexity verse and problems. You see, something that we need to address is inherent complexity and circumstantial complexity or things that we cause ourselves basically. So what do I mean by that? Well, I mean that the fact of the matter is that no problem that is sufficiently complicated will feel easy in the human mind. It doesn't matter what it is. It can be absolutely anything such as, um, well, let's say t take um, in this, that specific video, I, I made the analogy to going to through, say, your shoes in your, in your closet, right? Or in your wardrobe. So if you have, say, six pair of shoes or three or whatever, you have a, a certain amount of them and you have sorted and ordered them. Now, depending on who you are, you are going to feel that this is fairly a fairly simple problem to find the right pair of shoes in your own wardrobe. Now, let's imagine that because and this is what I'm saying, that's the inherent complexity of the problem. The inherent complexity is that you have six, let's say six pair of shoes and you have sorted them in the way that makes sense to you, right? Now, you can very easily just stand there and look at all your shoes and say, yeah, that's the pair that I want, right? Now, the the circumstantial complexity is who, however you ordered those shoes. You could have ordered them by color, size, or like oh, you might have the same size, but you may have had a preference in how you sorted them, maybe by name. There's tons of ways that you could have sorted those shoes. Now let's, for the sake of argument, say that now you're not going to go and find a specific pair of shoes in your own wardrobe. You're going to go and find a pair of shoes in a flight hangar with millions and millions and millions of different shoes from all over the world in different containers. Let's just say that. Which one is more complicated? Well, technically they're equal in complexity if you think about it. It's just that you have more shoes. The problem is still the same. You can still sort all those shoes by color, by size, by a ton of different things that make sense to you. But the problem is that big that you have that many shoes. So there's no way for you to simplify the problem apart from that. And that is exactly how programming works. If you want to make programming more simple, well, then basically you have to reduce the complexity of the problem. That it's that simple. That's all you have to do. All we have to do is to reduce the amount of things that we can do with programming. And then you could, in theory, reduce the inherent complexity of what it is that we're doing. And this is true in everything. It doesn't matter what it is. Programming has this happening all over the place. I have tons of people who talk to me about complexity. Do you like simple code? Do you like complex code? And I keep on saying, there is no way for you to say that, oh, I'm just gonna write this in a simple manner because you don't have control over that. What you do have control over is that you have the ability to choose the, like, do you can, your, your ability, uh, you, you have the ability to choose the, the circumstantial uh, complexity for yourself. In other words, you can choose to write a simple solution or the simplest solution rather, given the current context. 
but that's with the shoes. If you're sorting a flight hanger of shoes, there is no way to simplify that problem down to anything apart from, oh, this is gonna take a fucking long time. There, there, you can't get away from that part. That inherent complexity to the problem is not going anywhere because that is the problem. And unfortunately, we, I seem to be stuck sometimes with in discussions with people who are rookie programmers or junior or developers who like they are. I cannot. I can only surmise that they are not actual professional programmers because they talk to me as if their idea of the problems that we solve and like their skill levels is uh, that's their skill level is up to par with a professional programmer when they describe like these arbitrary simple little problems guys if you think that you're going to get paid like a good like a decent salary for writing hello world you can forget about it this is what i'm t telling you that what what i'm st have been stating for so long now is that you don't if you have only seen the problems that you see on tutorials and you see them through boot camps and so forth. I keep on telling you that is not real software development. That is that is a toy you're watching. That is a toy that you are watching being built. It's a simple, simple, simple version of more complicated systems because most companies have much more complicated problems and much more complicated systems than that. And there is no way that you can simplify that because that is the reflection of the problem that they are solving. Now, in actuality, it's not that clean to say that, oh yeah, that's just the inherent complexity of, of their system because it's actually a mixture of both. You see, the way that we build up this oh, our own complexity on top of the inherent complexity of the problem that we are solving is that we have different people from different backgrounds that make different technical decisions given a specific moment in time they might say oh we're going to do this and then the company's uh, company stakeholders or your ceo or something like that they choose a new direction for the company or new product and then you add that on top of that and then you add the next thing that's on un that unpredictability and change in scope of things are that is the sort of thing that makes every decision that you make actually at some point you're going to start to pile up more inherent complex uh, more circumstantial complexity rather than uh, inherent complexity and that that is uh, it you can think of it as two buckets of where one is like a you ha don't have any control over the inherent complexity apart from the problem completely changing in changing in what, in what it is right but you do have uh, control over the own like your own complexity that you add the inherent th the circumstantial stuff and unfortunately even that it's kind of like uh, the way that I could describe it is that that bucket is filled with uh, it's like it's filled with a liquid, and if you let that liquid solidify, it will become something solid, and you can't just change it at, the, at any given moment. You get the bottom layer to be so solid with that extra complexity that it, this is what I call legacy code. Basically, it's. Uh, it's code that is, you you wrote it yourself. You didn't have to write it this way. It's just that it was for some reason created. And now it's stuck in the, it's stuck in the system for long enough that it became a solid piece of the system. And you can't actually just throw it away without actually undoing quite a lot of work and having other problems. So what I want you to take away from this is that the reason why we can't make programming simple or simpler than it is, is very, it's very easy because the problems that we are solving using programming are complex. There is no way for, I mean, I would be, don't get me wrong, dudes, I would be happy, I would be happy as fuck if I could get paid, I don't know, uh, the same salary I'm getting paid today for sitting there and changing a few colors on something or, I don't know, basically making a shitty little uh, non-responsive website or a system that adds two numbers together. That would be great because then I could actually have more, more than one job. I could just do that part time and make an even bigger killing than I am doing it full time. But the thing is, guys, nobody wants... To, these are simple little toy problems. Who the fuck's going to pay you to do that? No, the thing that they want you to help them with, the thing that they're going to pay you for, is to help you build, help them build a world-class application of something, a world-class company, a world-class something, 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 whatever. And building something that is world-class is usually, yeah, it's very complicated. So, 
that's why we can't simplify it. I mean, the day we can simplify programming so it feels approachable to people or it feels easy to do, that's the day when it's so accessible that we don't actually need programmers anymore. Then we're just going to treat it as a skill that most people kind of just have, like which is today basically knowing how to use the internet or using a phone. Because that's the problem of reality, right? Simple problems are easy and therefore everybody, most people can deal with them and complicated problems needs more of an investment from the individuals who wants to be able to process or how to, to handle those sorts of problems. And maybe we will get there someday, but we're not there today. Have a great day.